Okay, so this is round two because I totally messed up my sound recording before and uh, it was like completely inaudible. So hi everyone, it's Zan here. Welcome back to the Toucan Zan Art Channel. Um, today we are working on a piece for Mermaid because Instagram likes to have these challenges every now and then. Um, different things like Inktober, Huevember, Drawsember, and now we're working on Mermaid and the idea is you're supposed to do 30 days of mermaids. Um, I think I've had enough of 30 day challenges for a while. I probably will be doing um, a bunch of mermaids this month uh, mixed in with my own stuff. So um, uh, this is going to be another one of those pieces where you get to see me work on from start to finish. Uh, you can see I'm using just a regular number two paper mate sharp writer pencil and I found out that if you're doing uh, a sketch on watercolor paper the kneaded eraser is your best friend because when you do like a regular eraser you end up getting those little eraser rubber pieces that come off the uh, the eraser and it's really annoying if you end up getting those wet because you have to wait until the paper dries again to wipe everything off but you don't get that same residue with the kneaded eraser so Lots of things have happened this week. Lots of really, really good things. I officially opened up my art shop yesterday. Uh, if you visit toucanzan.com, you will now be able to purchase art. Um, all of the art that I have done throughout this 30 days challenge is for sale, except for the piece that I did with my mom. Um, so yeah, if you wanna go and support me as an artist, you wanna put food in my belly, clothes on my back, then please visit toucanzan.com. And if you subscribe, uh, with your email to my newsletter you can receive 15% off your first purchase if you don't feel like subscribing there's still an option to receive 10% off your first purchase and uh, yeah so it's it's really really exciting and uh, I, I'm so glad that I finally got my site up I still need to like update it and you know kind of um, get the ball rolling a little bit. I need to add uh, some more product pictures because I've done way more pieces than than the pieces that I've put up. Uh, and you know, if you are wanting to do this as a legitimate business career, let me just tell you that it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of work. If you don't pay someone to do the pictures for you, you have to take pictures of all of your pieces. You have to then edit those pictures so that they look, you know, good. Um, you probably should take your pictures in camera raw, but I actually used a combination of pictures I took on my cell phone and pictures I took with the camera that I usually film with. So let's go into the process a little bit today. Um, so you can see right now I am using my Pigma Micron pens, yes, and uh, for this uh, particular painting I only used the 0.05 liner pen and the 0.1 liner pen and um, I figured that as a mermaid you're probably doing a lot of swimming. For those of you who are all into mermaid life, hashtag mermaids, oh my god. Um, you know, mermaids, I don't know if you've watched Eliza Slushinger with, oh, Elijah Slushinger. Real quick though, that palette that you see right there, that white palette, I got that from, uh, from the Wish app, which is amazing, and if you don't know what it is, go to wish.com or download the Wish app. Um, I got that palette for like two bucks. I saw a similar palette in a Blick store just recently, and they wanted like 14 or... 14 or 15 dollars for it and I was like ooh that's kind of a lot um, from the wish app I got this for two bucks two bucks and two dollars for shipping um, the shipping is not super quick but it's also not super slow because this stuff is usually directly outsourced from China or Korea um, or wherever they make these products um, for this came a lot quicker than I was expecting like the the date that it was supposed to arrive was between May 16th and May 28th and I got it like four days ago. So I'm super happy to finally get to use it. Anyway, Eliza Schlesinger, her most recent Netflix comedy special involves talking about being a mermaid and she goes into the whole kind of like what you can expect to happen if you actually lived as a mermaid. I thought it was super funny but I was thinking about that while I was drawing this and I was like you know what if you're a mermaid you're probably gonna be pretty buff you know like you're swimming all day so you probably should be pretty muscular and I feel like most mermaids are depicted as being kind of very gracious long-limbed creatures but in reality I feel like they would be more kind of 
buff and muscular. So I gave her kind of like a, a broad back with built shoulders and um, some definition in like the middle of her back. So uh, today to use to <laughs> words, I can speak. I promise I can speak. Um, for the background, I used a combination of Dr. Paige Martin's Radiant Concentrated Watercolor um, in Norway Blue and a green, which I can't remember the name of right now, but I will link to you in the description or just tell you what color it is. And um, I had the combination on my palette and then I just kind of like put put my water dropper and put water on the palette and then I had my blue section and my green section and then I I let the two kiss each other so that I could make this really pretty aqua color and my partner says that the water ended up looking more like clouds yes that may be true but for me I thought it looked more like the Caribbean uh, if anybody's ever seen the water in the Caribbean it looks just like this it is like crystal clear and gorgeous aqua or soul blue I don't know if you can hear that jackass on a motorcycle right now I know a lot of people really like to have loud motorcycles, but as a non-consumer of motorcycles, your lack of muffling is extremely annoying. Um, anyway, so and uh, after I did the, uh, the background color, I went in with her skin, and my challenge today was to do a very light skin tone, so that means using the white of the paper to your advantage, and uh, still using the Laovan technique. I mixed a crimson, white, and a Payne's gray watercolors together to create the base. And then if I wanted to add more shadows, I simply added either more Payne's gray, or, and if I wanted a warmer tone, I simply added more red. And you can probably see it off to the right on right now. There's a darker purple and a more purpley purple. And so one of the things I recognized the last time I watched Lao Van's uh, speed paint or his many of his uh, he has uh, this um, mm, why can I not think of what it's called right now it's a real-time painting that he does um, and I noticed that when he was doing the skin he instead he did do like yes the wet on what the wet on what was very important but what he would do is he would take just a little bit of color very pigmented and he would drop it on the skin right where he wants the shadow to be darkest and then after that he would wipe his brush off and then he would go in and almost carve out each section where the highlight would be so that he didn't ruin the highlight on the paper and I thought that was really fascinating because basically what you do is you put the color down, you let it kind of spread out as it's going to on the paper because of the wetness, and then you wipe off your brush and then you dab the brush back on the paper. And what that does is it actually pulls the color off the paper before it settles in to the fibers of the paper. And that's how he gets that really smooth transition. Um, obviously I'm like no, uh, no pro at this, but I, that's just what I realized. And so I thought that was really smart. And I think that it helped me achieve a better, lighter skin tone. I still need to work on achieving more of a realistic skin tone, but she's a mermaid. She can have purple skin. She's purple. Woo. That's a royal color. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody's having a fantastic Friday so far. I know I am. It kind of sucks that I had to re-record my audio, but it's no big deal. Um, so now I'm going with this kind of like peachy color to give her skin a little bit of warmth because something that I really enjoy doing is uh, giving that saturated blush like around the eyes, on her nose, a little bit on the chin. I like putting it on the shoulders, the elbows, the knuckles, the fingertips. I am really attracted to that style. Um, so I did go in with this peachy color just to kind of warm things up a little bit and I think it, it's good I think it made it like more dynamic you know because before it was all just different variations of purple um, and then after that I started going in with a more reddish version of that peach and I think it, it, it wasn't on purpose but I think it ended up working really well because blue and orange are complements of each other and so this coral is basically uh, an orangey reddish that that complements the blue in the background very well. So I really like the way it turned out. It almost had like a geisha-ish vibe to me, which was totally unintentional, but I'm very pleased with it. Um, so I'm just real quick, let me tell you, I'm really excited to tell you all that 
I made two sales yesterday like within uh, within five minutes of my shop opening my sister purchased Easter Bun Bun I'll link you to her information because she has a website and an Instagram as well and then uh, this girl uh, her handle is called Tabula Rasa and I won't share your name because I know you want that to remain private she uh, contacted me personally at my email and asked me about how to receive the invitation to my store opening and uh, she was she was amazing she's just amazing she like went and as soon as the store was open she immediately bought three prints and that was so amazing for me that was such an amazing moment because I this is what I, this is what I'm doing right every time that you buy something from me you're helping me pay my rent my utilities you're helping me feed myself put clothes on my back and she bought uh, two 8x10 prints and one 5x7 print and let me tell you right now tabula I'm sure you're probably watching this uh, you totally brought me to tears I bawled my eyes out when I saw that somebody bought my art because I think that I can produce art that is very pleasing to people and is affordable for people but just to have that kind of direct support from you meant the world to me like I <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to go to my therapist and she's gonna see me crying and she's gonna wonder what's happening. Um, but they were they were definitely happy tears. So Tabula, thank you so much for buying the prints from me. I can't wait to get them out to you. I'm gonna get them as soon as, as I can. I have to I have to get the print settings right and make sure that the, the prints look just so. And I will email you as soon as as soon as the prints are ready to go so thank you so much for that I'm waiting for my PayPal account to to finish this thing to uh, to accept the payment from you so just really 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 thank you so so much so now let's talk a little bit about the, about what I did with the tail so the tail was again a wet on wet technique and I uh, I'm really just using kind of the same colors here it was that um, I just used the Norway blue from Dr. PH Martin, the radiant watercolor, and I used the green. I used a little bit of purple, and I used uh, Payne's gray a lot, and that's kind of what gave like a differentiation to the tail. And uh, the first layer kind of dried weird, so I had to go back in and do it again. And I realized when I was doing these dots, I was like, oh, I can, I can work with this. It kind of looks like a koi fish a little bit. And uh, the tail that you see me working on right now, that was done with the fine tech uh, watercolors I don't remember specifically what color it is but if you have the gold palette and there's like one silver on the end it is the color right next to the silver and I, I let the color activate it for a while but I have since realized that in order to really get like the full depth of the color I think that these um, metallic watercolors work best with a wet on dry technique um, because that's when you can really lay down a thick layer of the color and you won't get any of that kind of like spotting that you might have seen earlier and for her hair um, I started with just like a layer of, of uh, Payne's gray and uh, some purple and I didn't really like it. I was like, it looks pretty, but it's just kind of washed out. It doesn't really have any definition to it. It doesn't have like the kind of oomph that I want. And I still wanted it to be light. So I then went back in after that with a combination of Payne's Grey and Burnt Umber. And that is how I got this black color that you can see on her hair right now. My partner was like, oh wow, that looks like, like black. I did not use black watercolor. I made that color myself. Hello, color theory. Um, so we're actually coming to the end of the video here and um, this is the last step in the process. I went back in and I relined everything with a .05 and a .1 Pigma Micron pen. Um, just to kind of give a, a little bit more definition to everything that kind of got washed out after I laid down the colors. And uh, after that I started going in with the Unibal Signo in white and I gave her like a pretty pearl crown and I decided that I didn't want to have a pupil in her eye anymore. I thought that it would be kind of cool for her to have like glassy iridescent eyes. So I just put some Unibal in her eye, I gave her some eyelashes, I put some details in her tail and um, in like the actual fin of her tail as well as the actual body of her tail which you will see momentarily and that was it that was the entire process for today so yay we're coming to the end of the video and Mother's Day is this weekend so if you want to get your mama a really cool gift please go to my website there's a bunch of things to buy right now um, 
and uh, but not Easter bun bun because my sister got the first Easter bun bun okay <laughs> that's out of stock but um, I can make prints of pretty much anything that you have seen I don't have pictures for the prints I offer up yet but it, I'm also now I'm doing commissions because uh, since I've started like really focusing on making this a business I have a friend that I made in Panama her name is Nancy and she wants me to help her illustrate a book that uh, captures how she feels about her firstborn child growing inside of her which is really special and really beautiful my good friend Cambria she wants uh, to do a couple commissions uh, to trade because she is very talented with photography and stuff and so I just want to let you all know I am open for commissions uh, we can talk about the details about you know what your budget is what you would like to uh, what the subject matter is and and all that kind of stuff so please if you want that just email me directly to kianzan at gmail.com and i would love love to talk to you about doing commissions so that's it that's the piece it ended up being so pretty i kind of don't oh i forgot to tell you i painted on the wrong side of the paper <laughs> i finished it and i started pulling the tape off i was like i think this is the wrong side of the paper and it totally was like this is the windsor newton 300 GSM common watercolor paper and uh, it turns out that it works on both sides but the back is very smooth so I actually really like the way it turned out um, so I might do it again who knows happy accident but yeah that was I don't even remember what I'm talking about because I was just <laughs> laughing so hard when I realized what I did Ooh, look at that pretty shiny tail so happy Friday to those of you who are mommies out there happy Mother's Day I'm gonna try and have another videos up the next couple of days and thank you for being here please like subscribe share with your friends and I will hopefully see you back here tomorrow I can't I gotta go bye